at all. Y'all give it up for Steve. I've known him for years. <laughs> he is such a sick fuck. I just can't tell you how much I missed him. You want to know my first Steve and Steve story? Um, we were doing Dirtiest Dozen, and we were in New York, and we were having dinner, all of the comedians. And you know what Steve did? He stuck his dick in his water glass and drank the water. <laughs> And I said, motherfucker, if you don't move your ass from over here, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> you have to forgive me. I'm a little tired. Um, I, you know, I've been traveling a lot. And I can't speak for everybody because I don't know if you travel a lot or not. But um, I don't think somebody with a GED can tell me whether I got a bomb in my purse or not. <laughs> And I can't speak for most women, but I think I speak for a few when I say, Mac makeup costs money. <laughs> and I told that TSA bitch, I said, look here. If I come back here and you got rum raisin on your lips, I'm fucking your ass up, believe it. <laughs> and I know what Izzy Miyake smell like, okay? You was wearing taboo when I came by here. So I'm, I'm in the airport, now I, got to, now I got to run to the gate. Now, it's not like I can't run, it's just some shit I don't enjoy doing. <laughs> and I'm, I'm running to my gate, and I'm running past these four Africans, and I know they're Africans because they laugh like, <laughs> and they stink. So uh, I run past the four Africans, I get to my gate, I talk to the counter girl, I say, counter bitch, look him. <laughs> it's first class fool. She said, it is. I said, well, I'm a platinum card holder. Can, is there any way I can get a whole row? Now, it's not like my ass is so big that I need a whole row, but a bitch want to stretch out. <laughs> I walked to my seat. There's an Asian chick sitting behind me, and she is knocked the fuck out. That's because she's sitting next to one of the Africans. <laughs> There's two Africans sitting cat a corner from me, and it's one African sitting between two Filipinos, and the Filipino people looking at me like, help us. And I'm like looking at them like, I don't know them niggas. So then, <laughs> so I'm getting in my row and I'm getting all comfortable and shit, and I'm trying to avoid the stench. So the way I got it figured, I'll lay flat in the row and the funk will go over me as opposed to engulfing me. I take a Xanax, cause Jesus loves Xanax. And um, I'm getting all comfortable in my row. The, they shut the plane door. The African that was between the two Filipinos, he sits in my aisle seat. Oh, God damn. I take another Xanax, because Jesus loved two Xanax just like he loved one. So I'm leaning against the window. I pull the shade down. We're taxiing down the runway. Now, I believe we all know the window rule, don't we? He who sit by the window, what? Rule the motherfucking window. <laughs> we taxi him down the runway. This bastard leans across me and raises up the shade, talking about, I want to see. <laughs> I said, I wanted you to wash your ass before you came here, but that didn't work out for me. You dusty, spear chunking, monkey butt eating motherfucker. <laughs> then I took the flight attendant's intercom and said, Are there any skinheads or clansmen on this plane? We got four niggas you can kill and we ain't gonna tell nobody. <laughs> Then I get to Oregon, where there are no black people, just rumors of them. So anyway, I get to Oregon, it's cold in the motherfucker. I ain't never been nowhere where it's too cold to be a hoe. I saw a bitch, she said, I'll suck your dick, but it's going to have to be on the inside. I, I saw one bitch with a dick stuck to her tongue. Uh, uh, uh. It was just scary. I get to Ben. It, my, it's so cold, my stomach is bloated, my breasts are sensitive. Yeah, I started my period. Yippee! If I could have killed three or four men right there, I'd have felt so much better about myself. I am so sick of television acting like being on your period is some romantic voyage. Ain't no bitch riding no horse when she start her period. Ain't no bitch swimming in the Caribbean when she start her period. You know blood attracts sharks. She ain't got nobody business in being in the water. Why you want to fuck up everybody else vacation? You want to show me some real shit? Show me a woman in the bed with a heating pad, some hot tea, and a joint. Show me that, motherfucker. You want to show me some real shit? Show me a man sitting in the car with his three kids talking about, we got to stay at the motel because mama tripping. 
<laughs> Men, you have no clue how hard it is to be a woman. It is constant fucking tedium. You want big titties, a flat stomach, a big ass. You got a small dick, but we still love you. <laughs> How you thin bitches doing? You all right? What you been doing? Throwing up and shit? I know, I read the magazines. I know you believe me, can anorexia. Your little bony ass is better eat. Cause a big woman like me, I'll take your man from you. Cause after he fuck, he gonna need to eat. Anybody can suck your dick, but can you fry a chicken? That's what I'm talking about. And see that little skinny girl back there? See you? A little skinny bony bitch like you, somebody can pick your ass up and put you in the trunk of a car. <laughs> Ain't nobody picking me up. <laughs> Motherfucker wanna pick me up, he better pray on it. <laughs> and you ain't got no titties at all. You got little speed bump titties. <laughs> I think Barbie's titties is bigger than yours. You got little eggs that are never gonna hatch. <laughs> and what's so bad, your man is laughing at your ass. But that's all right, he won't be laughing tonight, will he, baby? Cause he gonna want some pussy, ain't that right? You'll see him tonight talking about, baby, give me some pussy. No, why don't you fuck that fat black bitch you was laughing with? Maybe she'll fry you some chicken. Now, I got to tell you, I hate bullshit. I hate a lot of bullshit. I hate the president. I'm sorry. Fuck you in your ass. I do. I hate that motherfucker. I don't know. Do you know every 20 years the president is assassinated? Or there's an attempt to assassinate him? Where are my bipolar white people? What happened? You motherfuckers too lazy to look for a grassy knoll or something? You lazy motherfuckers? Everybody, the president know what he doing. No, he don't. He walk around carrying that briefcase. Ain't nothing in there but a coloring book and a sippy cup. And if you don't think this government is corrupt, how the vice president shoot a motherfucker in the face and cover it up? If that had been a black person, that nigga be in jail today. Just for thinking about shooting a white man in the face. I am so sick of the bullshit. Let me tell you something, this Don Imus shit, I'm sitting down because I got cramps and my back hurt. Fuck you. Anyway, you can see, if you can't see my big ass, you blind. That's what's up. Jesus and took your sight, motherfucker. Check yourself. Anyway, I'm just saying this to myself. You know, Don Imus, you know, he really wasn't talking about them Rucker girls. Don had called me and he said he wanted me to come over his house and cornrow as her. And I said, Don, I can't do that. I got to go to Bend, Oregon. He said, you nappy headed hoe. I said, Don, don't take that anger with you to work. And you saw what happened. <laughs> You know, them bitches made sure they shit was laid to the side. It was fried. <laughs> now, I feel sorry for Don with his dumb ass. You know, when you fire a motherfucker, white people may I talk to you plainly. When you fire a motherfucker, could you not wait till he get rich? Fire him while he young and fucking up. See, he's rich now. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. Don't be mad. I ain't mad at Don. He ain't said nothing no other white man ain't said shit. Fuck it. I know some shit. I've been fucking for a long time. <laughs> i tell you something else. I hate the president so much, I actually plotted to kill him. <laughs> but I'm black and I know I get caught, so I didn't do it. <laughs> you know we get caught all the time, Latino people. Quit playing. Because you know we all look alike. Quit playing. <laughs> Well, that's, you know, you know, 